guess where we are? This is Singapore, and last week it was Shanghai. As an entrepreneur, I'm always looking for inspiration and so happy to share it with you. After one week on tour with Peter Hinsen and Stephen van Bellingham, I asked eight participants what are their biggest learnings. And I'm really hoping that you will enjoy this video. The most disruptive thing I've seen in Asia here is that if you look at China, everything is possible. The Baidu, Alibaba and Tencents are going to rule the world. But at the same time, small companies, small countries like Singapore have the opportunity to rule the world. Singapore has 6 million inhabitants, but Singapore Telecom has 550 million subscribers. Everything is possible, even when you're small. What I like about my people is that they are happy. And how can I make them happy? What I learned in, in this region is that they must be autonomous that there are no robots, that they have freedom to work on their uh, project. Second thing is that they need education, training to work more intelligent on the project. And third thing is that they have a digital dashboard. They can view the figures of our company. Yeah, something uh, that, was, that impressed me was absolutely the speed uh, that you see here in Southeast Asia. So uh, there is definitely nothing wrong with being fast, speed, uh, speedy, agile. So I think yeah, uh, from an HR point of view, that's the kind of people you need. What struck me the most about Asia is that a powerful government supporting entrepreneurs can really make a difference. We saw plenty of examples where the decision layers were very short. Let's try this, go. The thing that struck me is that we're uh, on the verge of becoming the low-cost country in the world. Quite the opposite of what we think of uh, when you think of China. Um, when I talk to Chinese people, they're telling about uh, developers moving to Europe because they're cheaper there, the startup valuations being cheaper in uh, Europe. So this is a thing we have to worry about, I think. China is an amazing country and uh, they're, they're big but more than big they can innovate that's what we learned on this trip they are capable to realize new ideas and, and to bring them into uh, into reality and uh, Singapore what struck me is is the level of ambition that they have here and then the quote here that sticks to my mind is that they say well you know we're small but the world is our big backyard my learning is that it's all about hiring the right people. You have to hire people that are passionately curious. Um, you have to inspire them and then they will inspire you. And then you and them together can inspire your customers. It's all about happy customers, inspired people and about passionately curious. Oh, what a trip. Um, my major learning was in Singapore. Um, I saw a city with a vision and not um, run by only politicians that go from election to election but they have a short middle and long-term vision um, you know they call themselves and they follow the program the smart cities but it's um, it's a city with a vision and i love it you know i think these guys uh, are doing this in a great way a vision combined with uh, speed you know, fast execution and um, it leads to somewhere, everybody in the same direction. So The difference between China and Singapore is quite intense, you know, China has 1.4 billion users and uh, consumers, here in Singapore they have 5.5 consumers and people living here. And what I've learned is if you're small like Singapore, you have to be extremely ambitious. Like we've been to Singtel, they have a market of 5.5 million people, but they reach out to 500 million customers. So being small, you have to turn that into your advantage and then you can be extremely powerful. If you have any questions after this video on the spirit of the East Tour, let me know. Because that's what I love, that's what we do, that's what we love to do. Connecting great people. Bye!